hello guys and welcome back to another video today I'm hitting the banks and it's a little bit snowy a little bit frosty um, but we're gonna see what we can catch I'm out with the dead baits um, I've got a pack of dead bait roach but in that pack for some reason there's a carp in there don't know how that happened because I've been looking for dead bait carp for a while actually online and uh, for some reason I got one in my roach pack so that's all right that worked out it's a bonus so we're using that to see if I can catch a pike today I'm also going to be using the roach I've got I've also got a bream I think I've got several different dead baits I'm going to try it's very very cold the canal some parts of it are frozen over we're just going to see what we can catch the water's freezing so I'm going to be fishing baits on the bottom but I'm also going to fish baits just off the bottom suspended slowly moving with a slow current of the canal and uh, fingers crossed we might be able to find a fish or two um, I might include one or two clips from other sessions in this video if I can find them because I have done a couple recently on the canal where I have caught the odd pike um, but never managed to get enough to make a video so I hope you guys enjoy this we'll run through the rigs in a little bit let's crack on with the fishing see if we can catch anything a little jack pipe. <laughs> it was only small. Oh, I thought I turned the GoPro on, it turns out I turned it off. That's annoying. I think I've got it on the big camera though. I've just kind of got a perch on the dead bait and it's a nice perch as well. I'm looking in the neck so I don't want him to get injured flopping around. We'll travel up on the side of his mouth. Look at that fish. It's probably around two pounds, something like that. Awesome. There we go, hooks are out. Drop them in the net, just get him some water. I'll take the hooks out of the net. And we'll take a look at him. I can't believe I turned my GoPro off to land the fish. How annoying is that? I must have accidentally turned it on earlier on. So when I thought I turned it on, I was turning it off. The roach I was using was probably about six ounce, something like that. So you wanted a big bait and it was laid on the bottom. It weren't drifting anything like that. Really, really fat perch. Awesome fish. A bit of a straggly dorsal fin, probably where he's been in someone's keep net. Awesome. Whoa. Yeah, he's very feisty. I think we better get him back. Look at him, he's curling his tail up. Look, this is how long you are really. <laughs> Let's put him back in the water. Wicked. So let's take a quick look at the rigs that I'm using today. Now, they're both identical. Um, I've got using small pike floats just to drift around in the water. Um, the only difference is the main line. One of them is on mono, heavy mono. The other one's on heavy braid, 35 pound braid. Um, and down to a 25 pound wire trace with two size four treble hooks. And uh, nothing else in between. The, uh, the float and the trace and just a little float stop above the float to stop it from riding up so I can change the depth quickly. I'm going to be changing the stance of the bait. So sometimes I'll use it so the bait sits horizontally. And sometimes I'll do it so the bait um, is hooked in the tail in the back. And basically that is just so I can change from fishing a bait up in the water, floating, moving around in the water trying to search for the fish and then also having a bait that lies flat on the bottom. And I'm just going to change the rigs accordingly. If I get a couple of bites on the float but it doesn't really take, 
I'll change it to a bottom bait, so I'll just extend the line, make it longer, so it's a foot or two over depth for the for the wire trace to lay on the bottom, um, and make the bait lay flat. Um, or if I'm getting lots of action high up in the water, then I'll keep the bait high and floating around and searching for the fish. So let's crack on. Another little carp. It's a weird looking carp. It's almost like a carp roach hybrid. Shape of a carp, scales of a carp, mouth of a carp, but red eye. Weird looking thing. Oh, let's get a cast out. Little area in front of a tree. So there's some kind of cover, so I'm hoping there might be some fish down. Wait and see. Gotta take. Although it's happened twice now and I've had nothing. There we go. Ready. Nothing. There we go. Dropped it again. There we go. Oh no! Damn it! Sorry, mate. Hey, we are. Right? Had a couple of bites now. The same float in the same spot. I've not had anything out actually on it. <laughs> Nothing hooked. Not even felt resistance. I don't know what it is. It might be a perch. You never know. This is a roach dead bait I'm using. Definitely a fish. First couple of times the float went completely submerged under the water and started bobbing away. And as soon as I went to strike it either stopped or I struck and there was nothing on the end. So. Saying that even in these freezing conditions it might have been an eel. I have had eels take my baits before in cold weather, not quite this cold, but in cold weather. If this was autumn. I'd be like 100% that's an eel biting on my bait, just the way it is. Got it. It's not an eel. It's a pike, a very small pike. Oh no, it's not bad. Oh, got him. He's taken my bait five times now, if not more. Get him in. He's barely hooked. Oh, I might hook him in the neck because the uh, trebles are pretty loose in its mouth. It's like it might be hooked just on the outside. There we are, look. And unhooked. Such a big pike, he gave me such a delicate take repeatedly over and over again. Got him up nice and easily. Let's take him out and get a better look. Nice pike in the snow. Love a good snow pike. Beautiful fish as well. Probably about eight pounds, was like. You know, funny tail look. Caught on a little carp. <laughs> a little carp dead bait that was in that monkey pack that I bought. Hey, don't be flip. Awesome fish. Just check his mouth for any bait. Hook, should I say. Nothing down there for any of our anglers. Awesome little fish. Say a little, he's decent in it. <laughs> awesome little decent fish. Freezing cold, freezing cold. I get him put back. Awesome. Making its way towards me. A wheel in the slack line. It might have dropped it. It's stopped moving. It has a little twitch. Shall we see? Here we go. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, I lost it. Oh, it's a big bike. Really, really nice bike. 
What an idiot. Test me drag, tying it up. That was a good fish, that was a double. <laughs> like, easily a double as well. Oh, no. He ain't gonna come back for that, because he was up. Now, I'm in a really bad mood now. <laughs> good mood because I caught a fish, bad mood because I turned the GoPro off before I hooked it. <laughs> And it's a really nice fish as well. It's a double figure fish on my dead bait bream. Probably a fish of, it's trying to slap itself. Probably 13 pounds, something like that. Wait, calm down. Well, there we go. Come on, fella. There you are. Really nice fish here, like I say, probably about 13 pounds, 14 pounds, something like that. Such a clean fish, it was an awesome take. Set the hook, it was perfect. I went to check the GoPro and it wasn't on. Damn it. Right, let's get him rested and get him back. Caught on a bream dead bait. 13 There we go, perfect. Just had a pike pick up my uh, dead bait sardine. I can actually see the pike carrying it away underneath the water. And it's only got half the bait in its mouth, so I'm not going to strike just yet. It's T bone the bait. Just going to wait. It's turned the bait. It's now got the whole bait in its mouth. Are you ready? There we go. We got him. Oh, now I've got a spectator, so that's good. Only a jack pike. Net on hand set up ready. Very, very lively. And he's in the net. Awesome. Really clean fish. <laughs> Never had one hook so fine before. I was going to do an unhooking tutorial on this fish. But one of the hooks is already out in the net. And the other hook is just in the front lip. There we go. Very, very finely hooked. Just one of them hooks ever so finely in that lip. I won't even need pliers for this, I don't think. There we go. Unhooked. Just quickly get this hook out of the net. It'll take me only a second because it's rubber mesh. And that's resting. Then we'll take a better look at him. A little bit bigger than I thought, actually. Awesome pike, really, really chunky. Probably about five or six pounds, something like that. Really, really nice, clean fish. Really healthy, great condition. Not a mark on it, no marks on its mouth or anything. Really strange on this canal to find a fish in this good condition. So let's get him out very quickly. He was just hooked on the front of his lip nicely. Let's slip him back. Very cold fish. So thank you guys for watching the video. It actually took me a while to film this. It's just been on and off weather. It's been filmed over a couple of sessions. Uh, but I've enjoyed myself, I've caught a few fish, that's the main thing. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn the GoPro on on a couple of fish, but that's just my own fault. I, honestly, 
virtually never do that. Normally the GoPro is always recording. So I don't know what I've been playing at. It's be cold fingers, I think. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and to watch more content like this. And I'll catch you guys later.